Well, again, ITP is a rather uncommon disease, but one that uh, we see much more of these days than we used to. It's a disease of decreased platelet production, increased platelet destruction. The net result is your platelet count drops. So current therapies are directed to trying to make you have more platelets or to decrease destruction. The current therapies are things like corticosteroids, which we're trying to back away from because of side effects. Other new therapies such as rituximab and the thromboport receptor agonists are commonly used. And the thrust of my presentation today was to discuss the fact that steroids should be used probably much less long, long in terms of time. They may not be needed at all in some patients. They are oftentimes used for rescue, but the thrombopotent receptor agonists and rituximab are brought up front in this treatment algorithm. I also discussed the fact that our major goal is to avoid splenectomy or to not do it at all, and most patients can be medically treated with ITP uh, without need for splenectomy. And then there's a whole batch of brand new novel agents which are entering the sphere, things that inhibit, inhibit bruchin kinase, things that inhibit sick kinase, complement inhibitors, uh, new forms of IVIG and FC multimers are all entering a, the, the arena. And there's a wide spectrum of new, new agents which are being tested both upfront and in refractory patients. So the gist of my talk was to say, we have new agents coming, the older agents are gonna be pushed upfront, and we may be able to avoid steroids and we hope to avoid splenectomy entirely.